Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A week or so ago, I did a couple videos demonstrating how to create the Orton effect. In one video, I demonstrated how to do it in Lightroom, and in another video, I demonstrated how to do it in Photoshop. A few days ago, I demonstrated how to create the Orton effect using On One Photo Raw 2021. If you haven't seen any of those videos, I have a link to them in the description below this video. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create the Orton effect using Luminar AI. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with the Orton effect, it's an effect that was popularized by the Canadian landscape photographer, Michael Orton. Now, he's a landscape photographer, so he primarily added this effect to landscape images. And it gives the image kind of a ethereal glow, for lack of a better term. Many photographers, myself included, also think that this effect works well on portraits. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate it on a landscape image and on a portrait. Now, as far as prep for the effect, what you should do is just process your image as you normally would. On this image, I just did light, color, details, added a vignette, kind of stuff I always do. But one thing I do recommend is you may want to consider in light to bring down exposure a little bit because the Orton effect inside of Luminar AI kind of brightens up the image a bit. So you may find that you want to bring exposure down. Now you always could come back in and readjust this after you already applied the Orton effect. Right now I have it at minus 0.39. The Orton effect is inside of the glow filter. So we're gonna go down here to the glow filter and the drop down right here, it says soft focus at the moment, but if you click on that, you'll see there's two different Orton effects. Orton effect and Orton effect soft. So we'll put on Orton effect and just bring the amount slider up so you can see it. And you can see how it kind of gives this kind of glow to the landscape image. And you can see how it kind of brightens, especially the highlights as far as this Orton effect is. Now, if I click the drop down and do the Orton effect soft, get a look at that. And that kind of maybe is more uniform on the image. You do have advanced settings down here where you could, you know, dial in the softness the way you want it, the brightness here, you could affect here as well. So you don't necessarily, I guess, have to go up to light and bring down exposure. You could do that here, uh, contrast and warmth as well. So you have a lot of control over the Orton effect. Now within the glow filter itself, there are two other types of glow. There's soft focus, and glow, um, you know, many would consider, let's say soft focus to be similar to the Orton effect and you may prefer that on some images. Now for this specific image, um, you know, it doesn't really matter, but you get the idea. It's very easy to do in Luminar AI compared to let's say Photoshop where it's a bit more um, of a process. Now let's go to a portrait. I have this image here and it's more or less a snapshot of this little girl. And again, uh, just kind of normal processing, nothing really out of the ordinary. And in light, I did bring exposure down 1.46 stops. So I made it a little darker. So we're gonna go to that blow, uh, glow filter. We're gonna go to the drop down, and we're going to add the Orton effect. Right here, we're gonna bring the amount up, and you can see how it kind of gives this kind of glow, blur to the image. You could add softness, you could adjust the brightness to taste, contrast as needed, and warmth or cooler. And again, you have that other type of effect, the Orton effect soft. You may prefer that uh, for this type of image. And soft focus, it's worth taking a look at these and glow. See if any of those you like. And this one, it, you know, I don't know. Six to one, half a dozen of the other, as my mom would say. So I'm not sure, you know, which one I really like or if I like any of them. But Luminar AI makes it very easy to add an Orton-like effect to an image. Just go inside of the glow filter and they're there in the drop down. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.